Good morning, Carlsbad High School. It's October 20th. My name's Sarah. My name is Kaylin. Here's Jasmine with the pledge. Would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. If you drive a car, you're going to need one of these on your windshield by November 1st. If not, you're going to get a referral. Get one today for $5 at your grade level office. Also, if you don't pick one up by November 1st, it's going to cost $10 after then. We get to dress up for Halloween this year. We do. Here's some info about it. Yar! Don't forget we can dress up for Halloween this year, mateys! And only one dollar is here, first dollar teacher. But you can't wear a mask. And don't forget to keep your outfit school appropriate. Next week, we're discussing costume contest rules. Here's Eliana and Angelica with upcoming sports events. On October 21st, the soccer teams are going to be playing against Hobbs. Cavemen are going to be playing out of town, and the cave girls are going to be playing here at home. Here's a word from our cave girls soccer team. Cross Country is going to be busy this week. On October 21st, they are going to Rio Doso, and then after that, they're going to Hobbs on October 27th for their district meet. Also on October 27th, the Cayman football team will be traveling to Gadsden. Come support the Cave Girl volleyball team as they play Gadsden here at home October 24th. Here's some information on the upcoming Mummers play. So this weekend, CHS Play Production will be performing Door to Door by Flip Cobbler and Cindy Marcus. This play is about the opportunities that you are given and the decisions that you make to take them. This show is more of a comedy than a dramatic. Um, we wanted to perform something more lighthearted to the audience, but still having a still powerful message to present to you guys. BPA Juniors are sponsoring Red Ribbon Week. Here's some more information on that. BPA is happy to announce that we will be kicking off Red Ribbon Week campaign next week. National Red Ribbon Week runs from October 23rd through the 31st. It is the oldest drug prevention program in the nation. As a part of the campaign at CHS, we will have two dress-up days next week. On Wednesday, October 25th, we will have Pajama Pants Day. On Thursday, October 26th, we will have Hat Day. You will be allowed to wear your hats in the classroom. Starting Monday, we will be selling bracelets for the dress-up days in the ca cafeteria during both lunches. They are $5 each. $5 covers both days. You must be wearing one of these special bracelets on the dress of days to be allowed in the classroom. The money raised through this campaign will go to the Carlsbad Community Anti-Drug and Gang Coalition. We ask that you buy a, a bracelet and support our efforts. To wrap up this cavecast, here's some information on Dia de los Muertos, or the Day of the Dead. Hi, I'm here with Ms. Soto. Hi, Ms. Soto. Can you tell me about the Day of the Dead? Yes, um, the Day of the Dead happens on November 1st, which is a day that is celebrated the um, families and loved ones that uh, we have lost. And what we do is we go and we celebrate with the families at the cemetery. We bring them offerings just to remind them that they have not been forgotten. Um, this is a tradition that has been passed down through generations of, of families and um, it's just to help bring back the memory and to keep the memory of our loved ones that have passed on in life. Well, that's pretty amazing. Can you tell me if there's going to be any like activities you're going to do in classes for it? Um, well, in my class, we definitely um, go over the history and the traditions. We also do a number of activities. Um, we participate in um, uh, presentations. I know that also Ms. Ping and Parr's classes do uh, presentations, so we attend um, a viewing of the history, and also they make a table of the Day of the Dead, and just kind of an altar example that we will have displayed in the library. Well, that's pretty nice. Thank you for your time, Soto.